So jumping over into our web browser, uh, we're going to go and we're going to get an API that we can use in order to query uh, a weather um, station in our area. And um, I'm going to use Weather Underground for this, which is Wunderground. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, sites for getting the weather. And if you type in uh, 87740, your local zip code, of course, is going to pull up the information for your area. And so uh, the information that's behind this website we see right here is actually dealing uh, with um, a very simple script. And so I'm going to show you how to get that script and how we can insert it into the Python code. First thing you're going to need is an account. And so if you don't already have an account, um, you're just going to fill out this information on the left here. You're going to agree the terms of service and just do the basic free account. It gives you uh, 500 queries per day, uh, which is a lot. And if you do need more or you're generally a weather buff, $10 a year is not a lot to actually spend on everything you get from this. So I would say you can jump in and you can check that out. Uh, but I already have my account, so I'm just going to fill that in uh, and show you where to go in here in order to get um, the information you need for our script. Uh, so that just quickly jumped in. If you click on this again, it says, hello, Uchila France. So we know that we're locked in. And now we're going to click on the More tab, and we're going to go to the Weather API for developers. Here, it's just going to give us some basic information um, on what our usage is. And so we don't have any usage yet because we haven't really started up. Uh, but by clicking on this key setting, you can go in here and you can generate um, your uh, uh, API key. Um, and you just fill in your information for what project you're working on right here. Um, in this case, we're working for Device Plus. Uh, and this is the key that was generated right here. In order to see how to use that, we're then going to click on the documentation. And the documentation is just going to give us a, some basic information, but it's going to show us what our URL is for getting this information. So if I just quickly click on the show response, you can see that it's presenting me a bunch of information. Now I'm going to take this to the next step and we're going to open this up in a new tab as if it's a website and you can see we have the API here uh, we have our uh, registration key and then right at the moment this is set to San Francisco in California so if we scroll right through this we can see all the different um, uh, bits of information it's giving uh, we know that it's overcast right now we know the temperature is 54.9 degrees wind chill etc what we're interested in is this precip today. And so we're going to use this uh, key right here. And we're going to uh, say that if the precip today is greater than, in this case, zero, I want to bring an umbrella anytime I think it's going to rain, then we're going to have it trigger uh, the notification to let us know, hey, take an umbrella. Uh, this, of course, is not set to uh, our hometown and is. If we did want to do that, it's as easy as going into your menu bar here. You can see there's the key string again. And instead of California, whoops, uh, you can do this one of two ways. You can do it by state or by zip code. So I'm going to do it by zip code since I think everyone should know what their zip code is. And I'm going to delete the California San Francisco. And I'm going to put in my zip code, which is 87740. And then now once I click it, it's going to switch it to uh, my hometown, which is Raton, New Mexico. So scrolling again, it gives me all of the information for Raton, New Mexico. Uh, looks like it's uh, 52.8 degrees right now. And all the way to the bottom, it says zero precipitation. So it's going to be a partly cloudy but mostly warm day. And I don't have any rain. But we do have this URL, which is what we're going to insert into our Python code. So I want you to go ahead and copy that and keep that somewhere safe because we're going to use it uh, or you're going to use it and you're going to insert it instead of the information I have here. You're going to insert this into your Python code. And so we're going to jump over to that now and I'll show you how that works.